Hi everyone, this is Gail with Pretty Presets, and today I wanted to create a tutorial that focuses on, that focuses on how to layer Lightroom presets, um, specifically using the Pretty Presets workflow sets. So today I'm using the Clean Edit Portrait Workflow presets to demonstrate with. So I've opened up my Pretty Clean Edit Portrait Workflow collection here, and you'll see at the very top. Um, there is a step one, step two, step three. So I'm going to follow these steps. I'm going to start by setting my white balance. I could do that simply by coming over here and using the basic panel to set my white balance. But I'm actually going to come up and use the toolkit that comes with this collection, the Pretty Portrait Toolkit, toolkit to set my white balance. And I'm going to choose White Balance Auto. Now, the next step says to set your exposure, and I'm also going to do that using the toolkit. I could just, I could also come over here and choose the exposure slider, but I'm just going to choose exposure plus one. And you can see that already with those two quick adjustments, we've made a big difference to our image. So now I'm going to come down here, and step three is begin your clean edit workflow. So I'm going to begin down here, and I'm just going to scroll past some of these um, options. And the one I'm going to choose is this base three pastel color. I like what it does to the greens in the background and just the image overall. Now, really, in order to layer, I can choose one from each of these sections. So I can choose a base. I can't choose multiple bases, those will override one another. But then I can come down here and choose a curve if I would like to add a, cur a different curve to my image. I can choose a different split tone, a tint overlay, or I can choose a pretty mixer. And that will, o that will override most all of my settings. So, so that's not, those aren't necessarily layerable. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to choose a split tone and I've really been liking this silver lilac split tone so I'm going to click on that and it does add quite a bit of, of it adds a little bit more warmth and also some more reddish tones to my image. And then I'm going to move back up to the portrait toolkit and I'm going to choose soft center light neutral just to add a little bit more light to the middle. I love what that does. And then, because I've significantly brightened this image, and I've introduced a little bit of noise to it, I'm going to come up here and choose Noise Reduction plus 50. And I think this image, just with a couple of quick clicks, is finished. It's beautiful. It's super easy to do. It allows you to really customize your edit to your image and create a style that is all your own. Thanks for joining me today. Hope this was helpful.